be open and then write read release and it had two module that means one is init module another one is exit module so following the prototype we had already written this correct we had done this now when i executed this one when i executed this one let me show you once again executing that driver 23 is the name driver 23 is the name <clears throat> after this make command modules this is the uh, proto i mean format of that n uh, make command make utility okay so dot ko is been created then before inserting let me just clear the uh, clear the buffer d message minus c is clear d message minus c clear then let me insert the module insert driver 23.ko correct inserted to check let me give the list of modules ls mod written correct 6408 fine that is also done now after this when i give d message that means whatever functions are invoked and the respective printfs are printed to get that i just gave a d message so what did we observe here that day we understood only the init module is getting invoked here wherein in the init module loading a module i had written registration i had done allocated and the minor number correct then when i remove the module i have removed the module after this only this uh, unloading that means the cleanup module is getting executed correct it is getting invoked then what about these what about these entry points why they are not getting invoked tell me why these are not getting executed drive open drive write drive read drive release why these are not getting executed what is the reason behind this out of your entire driver code only this is getting executed this one and this why is it so why is that happening can you tell me why the other entry points are not getting invoked device is not connected yes louder device is not connected uh, okay one thing is device is not connected okay then you need to understand that these will get invoked based on the system calls right these are not a general entry points like uh, this last two that is init module and entry clean up module these are not like this this will get invoked when a particular insertion is happening and this will get invoked whenever removal of module is happening correct but what about these modules i mean what about these entry points what did we understand these entry points will get invoked at a specific time when they will they get invoked when there is a particular application request that means the entry point which is related to open will get invoked whenever the application calls open system call this will get invoked whenever the application calls write system call this will get invoked whenever the application calls read system call and this will get invoked whenever the application calls cl uh, close system call correct and also we are in the file underscore operation structure this we have already understood which is holding the pointers that is related to every entry point other than init and exit correct this we have already understood so with respect to open entry point write 
read and release entry point what names you have given you need to just mention it what names you have given you need to mention it so declare an object for this file operation structure which i have declared as fops yes and then for each entry point what is the function you have written give the name of the function this is indirectly saying that suppose there is a application request wherein it has made use of open system call correct so internally which call it should invoke it should invoke the open entry point what is your open entry point in the program you have defined it as drv underscore open so this way it will locate this way it is going to locate so you need to just declare a file operations uh, variable and then initialize every entry point with the respective function which indicates that particular entry point so in my driver program for open i have written this function for write entry point i have written this function for read entry point i have written this function and for release entry point i have written this function each of these entry points that means each of these functions are going to get executed only when there is a application request else they will only get registered whenever you insert they are only going to get registered they are not invoked there understand that all will get registered whenever we insert a module all the functions all the entry points will get registered whenever we insert a module when will they get invoked that depends init module gets invoked when we insert a module clean up module gets invoked when we remove a module similarly each of the entry point has a particular way when it is going to get invoked or has a particular path at what time will it get invoked so open will get invoked due to open system call write will get invoked due to write system call read will get invoked due to read system call release will get invoked because of close system call correct so you have just mentioned it what are your functions for your respective entry point then so now that means to execute that means in order that this function this function read and close that has to get executed you want to check like is it invoking this or not so simple one print f i written entry entry print f as in print k one one line i have written entry and enter correct now let us try to understand how do we write a small application program wherein we make use of open read write and close system calls to invoke each of these entry points in the driver let us understand that now. how do we write an application program so i have written already a small application program this is the this is my small application program which is having open read write read and close to work on a device do not think that this is a file no nothing like that it can be a device also right it can be a device so open what is the prototype of open if you remember see open we have used with respect to files open we have used with respect to fifos also fifo is a named file correct so the same open read write and close system calls we can make use of to work with a device also we can work with a device also what is the name of the device you need to specify here what you want to do on that you want to read on and write so that is the second argument open is clear no doubt with open which device you want to open name of the device why you want to open it what is your purpose read and write so open and as usual it is going to return a descriptor so make use of that descriptor in rest of your calls what is there in write this is indicating this write is indicating you are trying to write on a device whose descriptor number is fd which will be that device it will be this device 
what you want to write you want to write hello on the device how many bytes five bytes so this is the file descriptor this is the data and this is the size of the data recall back the previous calls simple to understand then from here itself uh, a simple just a driver program to read correct to read read from where from the same device after reading you are just putting it in a buffer how much bytes you want to read how much ever is received or how much ever is been sent so what is the data that you have received from a device you are just trying to print data received from kernel space that means data which is read from the device from the device the data read you are just trying to print and close that device close that device now how this device what is this device some device i have written ism underscore device what is this this is the name of your device file this is the name of your device file device file what is device file it acts as a intermediate between your driver and your device so connecting a device still we don't know we are only concerned with this part right we are only concerned with a driver reaching till the device reaching till the device so device file helps to connect between a driver and the actual device so what is the name of that device file indirectly if you are working on device a give the device file name as device a itself so that you will be able to identify through this driver with the help of this device file you are working on that particular device so this argument what i have given as ism underscore device this should be the device file name then how do we create a device file how to create a device file first tell me how many device files are there how many types of device files are there yes how many types of device files are there yes neetu you are saying something louder neetu two ma'am two okay what are those name them block device driver okay you are saying about driver there are three drivers according to what you are saying drivers are character device driver block device driver network device driver i am asking about device file device file driver you told me about this part driver i am asking about this part device file okay so let me just remind you that there are two types of device files one is character device file one is block device file two types of device files one is character device file one is block device file character device file we make use of when we are working with a character device helping the character device driver block device file we are going to make use of when we are working with a block device trying to help a block device driver correct how to create this i have told it how to create how to create a device file quick yes can anyone tell me how to create a device file simple it was with a command i had told you we call it to be a node also i had told you what is the command mk node correct mk node is the command mk node after that type of the device name and then major number minor number this was the prototype right 
so we need to first understand how to create a device file now and to start writing a driver with an application code reaching the device file that day we had made some steps let me open that step start do you remember this steps we had made write a module wherein you will register the device there will be some entry points some default functions wherein you will unregister in the cleanup module we had done all this correct that itself is the program what i have shown you this one so first step we have done correct first step we have done next create make file this is also done this is also done d message insert module i have already removed the module so let me just complete it till this part let me just complete it according to the steps we are doing right make file okay it is there make file is there then created i'll just clear it let's see minus c previous all data i have just cleared okay insert the module insert it till there all the steps we have done all the steps we have done correct after this if you get d message if you make use of d message what it will give you it will give you an important uh, two parameters it will display which is major number and minor number now why these are required because the device file what you create it is for this driver so allocate the same major number and the minor number for your device also for your device files also that is sixth step mk node device file name which type of device major number minor number let us do that create a device file now mk node what is the name of the device i'll give mm, ism underscore device hmm. which type of device file is this character device file major number minor number zero enter how to check now is this created successfully or not how to check take ls minus l since device file is also a type of file correct okay? which have learned in linux device file is also one type of file supported in linux how do you get the list of any file ls detailed list ls minus 1 so let me get that check is it there ls minus l yes clear can you see it now observe the details take a minute of time observe the details what are those i'll come back observe it
yes tell me what details are you getting to know where is it indicating that it is a character device file it's starting ma'am see correct so that first column i said you that day when we were studying in linux that first column indicates what type of file it is right what type of file it is so if it is a character device file there it will be showing as c if it is a block device file it will show as b simple c b now if it is um a general file that means any other file here whatever it is indicating all this is all this is the size correct but this is a device file this is a device file so it is just going to act as a media correct so how do you what details it will give for the device file the associated major number and the minor number so this is time this is root user creator and the what all you know, like permissions correct so c indicates character device file so that was our next step so we understood correct understood now what will be the next step writing an application program writing an application program correct write what is that application here is your application program see whatever the device file name you have given give the same device file name here if you change here create the device file with this name what you are saying you are trying to open this device file you are trying to work on this device file is what you are indicating till it is not the hardware correct that device file will operate with the hardware understand that so i'll just copy this this is your application program right to drive your driver code wherein you make use of a device file wherein you make use of a device file correct then copy what is that driver application i write driver application space okay. what is the next step compile this compile that is the next step run your application program correct right? let us do that app dot c no errors now a dot out this will run what this is going to run your application program. this is going to run your application program correct right? enter now check here data received from kernel space there is no data actually there is some garbage data now we are not consider considering this we are nowhere concerned with this let us only understand did the driver entry points got invoked or not check no driver entry points did not get invoked the module there it's already there let me remove it
there is some mistake in the program because of which the entry points are not getting removed. What is the mistake? Name is different. So which name is different here? Driving name and application uh, is device one and device. Application. Oh, Here you are saying. Let me just redo it. I'll copy this somewhere. Driver. Okay, this is one. one two I. This is the driver name, not in name. I mean driver name. This two five three and zero. Okay, no. Is this wrong? I don't think.
correct. Number was. Two five three and zero. No device price. So now let me see. Two five three and three and four. Three plus two I will write. Device three four. Character two five three and zero. Device by this three eight six. Then three eight. Then what was the application I have written? Have the Device three four is the It is reading some garbage since we have not sent anything. What is the issue? Entry points are not fitting in your Let me just check it. What is the issue? We'll continue ahead. Uh, only thing you need to understand here is after this, since we have executed an application, the driver entry points in the driver will get invoked. This is what you will have to understand. 
I'll just check what is the issue by today. We'll get back tomorrow to this. Okay. So, these are a few steps that we had uh, noted down to work with a complete application and the driver program, wherein we had to understand between uh, creation a device file, that was a new thing, and how to write a small application program, even that was required. Right? Then, now here, um, if you can only see the previous part here, here, data received from kernel space, some garbage value it is giving here, correct? Some garbage value. Now, um, here. Where is it? You are writing on the device, and here itself you are reading from the device, correct? You are writing and you are reading. Now, uh, uh, recall that example of a file. When you're working with a file, if you write on the file and immediately you read from the file, what would happen? Would it read the data? Definitely it wouldn't read the data, correct? The whatever value, that means in the same program, in the same program, you're writing on a file, you're reading from the file immediately. Then what would happen? As soon as you write here, you need to understand the file pointer will reach at the end of the file. It may be any file, device file, normal file, file, anything it may be. Immediately, it would reach the end. That means the immediate line you try to read it, it will not read the data. Why? Because the file pointer will have reached the end of file. Correct? File pointer will have reached the end of file. So, at least consider you wanted to take it back at the starting so that you can read from that device file and pass that read data. If this is the case, then that means you need to understand how do you make a random access on a device file. So that is what, for that you need to understand L6 system call, correct? We had understood L6 system call already with the help of files in Linux. So, when we call LC system call in our application program, which internal uh, entry point it is going to invoke? Tell me for LC system call, which internal entry point it is going to invoke from a driver? For LC system call. Yes, for L6 system call, if application program makes use of L6, which internal entry point will it invoke from the driver? What is that entry point name? So the entry point that it invokes from the driver is LLC. It is LLC. So we'll be understanding the prototype of LLC. Programming will do it tomorrow. Only the prototype will understand LLC. So the equivalent system call I'll write here for you to uh, compare. LC. If you make use of a file, the file descriptor will be here. Here is your offset. And this is from where? That means from what position? What was the position you were giving? Seek underscore set, seek underscore cur, seek underscore end, we were giving that, correct? Now, when application program makes use of, when an application program makes use of LC system call, internally it will invoke LLC entry point. What is the prototype? Again, same written value. Now, whatever is the file descriptor, that means whatever is the file device file with which we are connected or trying to work with, its file pointer will be stored here. That means uh, the driver will be easily able to make out with what file, with what device file you are operating. 
then offset will get loaded here position from where is going to get loaded here <coughs> this is the prototype correct then how do we use it or how are we going to define an entry point that is how are we going to define llc entry point let us understand now how are we going to define So we can define our LLC entry point something like this, something like this. Name, you can give any name. This is entry point, which will get invoked for LC system call, for LC system call from an application program, correct? So we have we are following the prototype. First one is the file pointer, offset, whence. This whence is nothing but position. That means, is it from beginning? Is it from the end? Is it from the current position? Is it from the current position? Now, if the whens, that means this LSEQ anyhow is going to work or change the pointer, file pointer position based on from where you are saying it, uh, you are giving the position, correct? From where are you going to give the position? Suppose uh, in your LC application program, you have used like this LC FD. This is the file descriptor of a device file. Then offset is mm, two and Seek underscore set. This is what you have given in your application program. So immediately what it will do? It will call internally the entry point which is related to this system call. What is that entry point? It is LLC. It will map to this entry point. Whatever data it has come with, it will transfer. So it will indicate on which file, device file you are operating offset and seek underscore set. Now, what do we do inside? This is mainly, now what was the issue we were facing? From the same device, in the same program, if you write an application, wherein you are trying to write and immediately read, we understood that it will not read any data because the file pointer is nowhere updated. That means the file pointer is not taken back or nowhere moved. It has reached the end of file. So you want to update it, correct? So how do you define your new LSEQ then? In something like this way, what is that? You use a switch case wherein this argument, whatever you have received as, pass it as a variable to this. Whatever argument here it is, pass it as a variable to your switch case. Now, suppose it is seek underscore set. That means whence, has, whence is seek underscore set. Then what should be done? That indicates from the starting position, you need to move your cursor. From the starting position, you need to move your cursor. That means where it will move your cursor position, what will be the new position of your cursor? You have declared another variable that is new position. Let me make you understand. Hello, example. Hello, you have written till here. Here. So LC, you have made use of LC now for this, for this, correct? Now you want, uh, you have written from the starting position, it should be plus two offset. Now, if you are taking from starting position, what should be the new position of your cursor? Plus two, correct? It should come here. That means your new cursor position will be, how much ever is the offset you have given? Plus two. Correct? This is the new position of your cursor. So your new position of your cursor will be the offset value itself. Your cursor will keep an point here. That is for seek underscore set. Are you understanding what I'm saying? Are you understanding? What will be the new position we are trying to understand? New position of what? New position of your cursor. 
we are trying to understand. Did you understand seek underscore set? Since it is from the beginning, how much it should move or where should be your new position? How much ever is the offset, it should move till there. And this itself is your new position of the cursor. Correct? That is seek underscore set. Now, if in your application you have made use of seek underscore current, that means from your current position of the cursor. From your current position of the cursor. So, how do you decide the new position? To decide the new position, first thing you want the offset. How much is the offset you want? What is this? What is this? Can you tell me F underscore POS? What is this? This is some variable which is in this particular structure pointed by this. In this structure, what is this variable? Structure member saying? This we had discussed some days before. File structure it is. What is F underscore POS indicating? Tell me what is that? F underscore POS. What is that member indicating of that structure? What it holds? What information it gives you? Position. F underscore POS in a driver code or with respect to a driver code will give you the file position. That means the current pointer position value it will be holding. Correct? Current pointer position value. So, assume in hello, your pointer is here now, somewhere. So, this current pointer position value will be present in this one, this variable. Correct? In this variable. So, what will be your new position value? What will be your new position of the cursor? How much ever offset you have given? The current position plus the offset will be your new position. So, if the offset you have given as minus 2, file pointer position, how much is that? Current position is 2. Offset is minus 2 you have given. 1, 2. That means your pointer, new position of pointer will be here. Minus 2. Minus 2 indicates you are decrementing the pointer position. If at that time your offset was plus 2, from here it would get advanced plus 2 positions. So the new position will be plus 2. New position will be plus 2. Are you understanding? Yes, ma'am. Then coming to the last one. Seek underscore end. Seek underscore end if that is your variable. That means from the end. From the end. From the end. Again, offset is required anyhow. Offset. From the end. Offset. That means if seek underscore end is the position. That means what should be done? How seek underscore end indicates this is your file size. This is the total size. Seek underscore end. If seek underscore end has been your position, then how it should work? How much is your total content of the file? Total content of the file. That plus the offset value. That plus the offset value. And already we know that if seek underscore end is the position, then that is the end of the file, correct? That means it cannot go ahead. That means it cannot have a positive value. So whenever seek underscore end would be the position that directly indicates offset will always be negative. Offset will always be negative. So suppose this was seek underscore end and offset will be some negative value. How much? Assume minus four. So what will happen? What will be a new position? your total content of the file. That means your total device size, total device size, device size, content, plus offset. Plus, offset is how much? Minus four, minus four. 
So device size five minus four. One, two, three, four. So here one, it is your new position. It will be your new position of the cursor. So this new position is nothing but your return value. So what is that new position? That new position based on the positions that you pass as a whens what we call this should be updated to the pointer in this variable. So you are just updating it. So if your new position value is less than zero, that means it is an error. So you need to understand position cannot come as a negative value. That means somewhere in the programming, if there is a mistake. If it is greater than zero, definitely or equal to zero, that indicates that itself will be your current file pointer position, which you update it to this particular file structure member and return that value. That value is your this one. So understand now, when you made use of lseek, when you made use of lseek, and worked with the file internally what all was happening this will be happening internally and then it will give back the file pointer position to you in your application program why because internally all this thing will be happening internally a uh, entry point will be designed like this so that it will account for your new file pointer position new position of the uh, cursor you can see did you understand how it is internally designed lc llc not lc llc entry pointer which gets invoked whenever application uses a system call called as lc so internally it will work like this did you understand yes any doubts with LLC entry point? Apurva, Vishal, understood? Yes, ma'am. Apurva? Damya? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So this will implement. Practically, we'll try to implement. So first, let us write an entry point with this particular prototype. Let us write. I have written that already. We'll just go through. Like this. There is no change in the definition. Same thing we have used. What is the first one? Only the name is different, which you will have associated here. Correct? You have associated here. File pointer offset position. Based on the position, the it will change. So see here now. 0, 1, and 2 indicates seek set this is nothing but seek set seek underscore set and this is nothing but seek underscore current seek underscore current and two is nothing but seek underscore end so the values of the macro seek underscore set is zero value of the macro seek underscore cur is one Value of the macro seek underscore end is 2. So if it is set, that means from the starting, whatever is your offset, that itself is your new position. If it is from current position, take first to the actual position of the cursor, which is stored in this variable, add your offset, that will be the new position. If it is from the end, it is from the end total size that means from the end it will take total size plus your offset 
so definitely offset will be negative so that will be your new position so definitely this new position should be a positive value zero indicates there is some error so if it is a positive value the new position that you have found out should get updated to this member which holds the current positions so each time you want to change the cursor position that needs to get updated to this member which is holding the information about the current position that is why we have done all this and written that new position which is the return value of l seek l l seek entry point this is the return value so this itself will return in turn back to your l seek system call and that is why you get some value here some current value that is because internally all this will happen correct so this is your l seek entry point l l seek entry point the other entry points already we know other entry points see now if you have written if you have written and then you have used l seek and then you want to read then you want to read whatever changes of the cursor you have made in l seek through this maybe you have taken it starting and done that changes should get reflected for this also right to this also that means in the driver program for the driver entry points like write driver entry point like read the file pointer position should get updated every time correct file pointer position should get updated why why it should get updated if you can check here over it hmm it should get updated why i am saying because for this driver there is a offset for this driver there is offset are you understanding so in the write entry point as well as in the read entry point the file pointer positions should also get updated every time so that reading and writing is going to be proper reading and writing is going to be proper that should also be taken care of yes reading and writing should be proper that means whenever a write system call invokes this the file pointer position should also be proper here whenever a read system call invokes the file pointer position also should be get updated every time the file pointer position changes whichever entry points are making use of that offset or making use of that file pointer position in each of those entry points that offset or the new pointer position should get updated so you need to write the entry points in such a way that you will include the updated entry points every time you will include the updated file pointer point every time that has to be taken care of that is one thing how do we do that we'll understand it tomorrow here i have written some lines and here i have used f position here current position i have seen how to do that we'll make use of that tomorrow now apart from that we have two calls two functions copy from user copy to user equivalent to these functions yesterday we had learned two functions what are those equivalent to copy from user copy to user what are those functions yesterday we had learned in iocetl system call i mean iocetl entry point what were the functions give me the function names yesterday we had understood that no i am asking about uh, functions which will help in exchanging the data from user to user data that io or iow indicates direction that hmm 
I'm asking about data. How to give the data to the user? How to take the data from the user? Two functions we, I, we had studied. That time I had told you, we can use these functions also, which we'll study today. I had told this point. Yesterday I had taught you. Put user, get user. Yes, do you remember this? Put user, get user. What were this? This is to give the data to the user. This is to, sorry, this is to take the data from the user, correct? Put user indicates what? With respect to device, what is the driver doing? Put user means writing the data to the user, correct? That means it is reading from the device. Get user means write. Taking the data from the user, that means it is writing on the device. I told you this yesterday, it is ulta, other way. Put user, give the data to the user. How? By reading from the device. Get user, take the data from the user and write it on the device. Yes? So similar way, similar way. There are two functions. Copy from user, copy to user, copy from user, copy to user. What are these? So, whatever data we exchange, that is from you right here, correct? Like this. Right. And here, this is your application program. Here, you will have made use of a buffer. And for read, for read, here you will have made use of another buffer here as a second argument. Just now I had shown you. Here there was a buffer. It can be directly data. Here there was a buffer. So from here, data will be given here. From here, data will be given, correct? Now, this is done. And in the driver code. Also, for the device file, you make use of buffers, correct? Now, This is running in, application will be running in user space. User space. Driver will be running in with space. Module will be running in kernel space. That means whatever data you want to write, you want to write on the file, this same data, that means this should get ref ref reflected in the kernel space. Similarly, from here, if you want to send the data, a copy, to the user space from the driver after reading, it should also get reflected here, correct? That means some data should be copied from kernel space to user space. That means from here to here, it should be copied. From there to here, it should also be copied. How to do that? From one space to another, exchanging the information between two different spaces. How do we do that? With the help of these functions, copy from user, copy to user, copy from user, copy to user. How do you use that? Copy from user indicates some data from the user space, you want to copy it to driver code. Copy from user, copy to user indicates some data from the driver code, you want to copy it to the user space, to the user. This is from the user from the user to the user. Then what will be the prototype? Copy to user. So what is the buffer in the user space? Give the name from where you want to copy. From the driver buffer, size, how much to be copied, done. What is all this F position? This will understand tomorrow. Then copy from user, copy from user, Put it where? To your driver buffer. Are you understanding? Copy from user means from this, copy to this. From the user buffer, copy to the driver buffer. Copy to user means this is the destination. To is the destination. To whom? To user buffer. From where? From the driver buffer. So understand. 
all both of these have the same prototypes that means uh, the function destination source and the size correct destination source and the size if it is copy from user if it is copy from user who is the source from where are you copying from user you are copying that means source will be the user buffer to whom you are copying to the driver buffer the destination will be driver buffer now if it is copy to user you are copying to user so what will be the source source is here second argument this is source this is destination this is size copy to user that means user buffer is the destination so destination will be user buffer from where you are copying from the driver buffer so source will be the destination size how much size has to be copied to the user buffer how much size of data has to be copied from the user buffer that size you are specific now come to writing writing means what this is your driver program correct this is your driver program yes or no this is the driver program now you are writing here means you are writing on whom you are writing you will be making use of device file correct you will be making use of device file that means to write on the device file you want a copy from user data copy to write on device file which will operate on the device later correct so make use of copy from user in write entry point driver read it is driver read this is the one which will get invoked to read from the device to read from the device that means after reading from the device to the device file data has to be copied to the user to so make use of copy to user Did you understand this? Copy from user, copy to user. Did you understand? And why it is required? okay let me just give you one small example to make you understand this what is this actually so then maybe you may understand okay what will do this is application program this is driver program this is device file this is device this is the path correct driver program as in here is your kernel itself okay in driver uh, in your applications let me just name this is application program this is driver this is device file which is a media and this is the device hardware now as you uh, you we write general programs right to operate on file or something now in my application i have written a code to write to write what to write on the file i mean to write on a device you want to write on the device i cannot directly write because application that means this is the entire different space user this is the user who cannot directly interact with 
a device that is why it makes use of in between an operating system layer which communicates with the driver with the help of device file it communicates with the device correct this is not possible so you want to write something on the device correct you make use of write system call correct this has to invoke write entry point internally it has to invoke write entry point okay now it has some data that it has to write on the device correct what is the data let the data be data i'll say data 1 2 this is the data that this application wants to write on this device so this system call will invoke pass the message here since it is a system call kernel will find the driver first it will locate which is the entry point it has to invoke now it has located now it has located it this is the entry point it located the entry point which will help me to write on the device where is the data but what it has to write where is the data yes where is the data that it has to write in the application in the application level that means it is here this you generally put as a buffer right that means you declare one array user buffer let me say now the data that you want to write on a device should be transferred to the kernel space to this entry point should it get transferred or not definitely it should get transferred for that you make use of copy from user to write on a particular device whatever is the data at least it has to come and reach the entry point how do we do that so to copy the data from the user space to the entry point so that that will pass on to device file which will write on the device from the user space to the kernel space this data has to be copied to pass on to pass on for that you use copy from user copy from user now tell me what is the prototype of this first one is the destination where you want to copy second one is the source from whom you are copying third one is the size hmm. assume this you have stored in ubuff this the data you have stored in ubuff in kernel space there is a buffer called as kbuff wherein you want the data that has to be written on a device here now tell me how do you make use of copy from user which is the destination which is the destination okay. where you want to copy to kbuff destination kbuff source from where are you copying user level ubuff out of this how much is the size of data you are copying here all everything make use of size of operator of this how much ever it is copy entire understood now yes ma'am copy from user done clear now similarly copy to user application driver device file device this is any how the media and this is read let us take example of read which is an application this is the space then here read entry point is there read entry hmm now application has made use of read system call that means it is trying to read from a device it is trying to read from a device directly device cannot send the message to application not possible 
it will pass on to file to file this will pass on to driver that means this driver code now has the data which is read from the device where it through this entry point it has invoked it has come back now right read data is here in kernel buffer assume now application wants to see right what is the data that means read data is here from this space that copy of read data should be given to this space what function you use copy to user correct copy to user again it has the same prototypes destination source and what size now what will be destination to where you are copying to user buffer destination is u bar source from where are you copying from kernel buffer how much is the size how much ever is entirely read so much size size of a buff you can write so that is where you use copy to user where are you writing all this in the entry point itself in the driver code itself that means in read entry point you make use of copy to user in write entry point you will make use of copy from user copy from user did you understand now copy from user clear Yes, ma'am. So that is about your today's session. Simple entry point we studied. So why it is done? All of this we'll understand tomorrow. Now it will become too much heavy. Read, write. Why all this is done? We'll understand in tomorrow's session. Okay. So tomorrow will be your last session of LDD. Monday will be your recap. Four thirty. each one of you will attend the recap right you should attend no other option so monday is the recap i'll announce it in the group so just practice the simple programs that we have done till now along with tomorrow's two programs different entry points and another one else seek entry point so we'll continue tomorrow then yeah thank you